Good morning everyone, thank you for tuning in and then today I want to be reading a passage that have really blessed my heart and it is from Matthew chapter 6 verses 35 through 34 and I'm reading from NKZV and the title for this passage says The Cure for Worry Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink for, nor above your body what you will put on It's not life more than food and the body more than offering a clothing look at the birds of the air for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barn yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not more value than they which of you by worrying can at one cubit of his status so why do you worry above clothing consider the lilies of the field how they grow they neither toil nor spin and yet i tell to you that even solomon in all his glory was not array like one of these now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothes you, O ye, O you of little fat? Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after all these things the hidden seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the days is its own trouble. So here, it really blessed my heart that when we give more concern about um, things that matters to God, when we seek God's kingdom first, when we are more worried or more concerned, and when we put more efforts into seeking God's kingdom first, into bringing his glory first, and into making his name known first, then God will take care of everything. Here, after God telling us not to store up, store our um, earthly treasures here on earth, and instead of seeking fame, instead of seeking after the money, or instead of, you know, being so concerned about the affairs of the world, God says, even if you're not concerned about these things, if you give importance to me, and if you if you are more concerned about expanding my kingdom, about things that matters to me, then all these things will be added unto you. He says that, but you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things that he has mentioned above the, above the clothing, above the house you will be staying, above the money you will be getting, above every, anything that you desire as human, okay? All these things that you desire will be added. And if it is not necessary for us, it's not going to add that in our life. And that is absolutely going to be all right. So seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto us. So may God give us the desire, may God give us the strength uh, to seek his kingdom first, to, seek, uh, to see what God does really wants to do with our life, to expand his kingdom, then he will provide all that we ever need in our life. Yes. That is all I want to share you guys and I hope you find your peace, purpose and um, meaning in seeking God's kingdom first and everything that you ever need that is going to be added in our life. And guys, uh, one more point is that you are never, never going to lack peace of mind. You are never going to uh, have no sense of purpose in life if you always seek God first and if you always seek his face and do what he want us to do and what is one of the desire is that god want us to love him with all our heart soul and mind it is something that he demand god want us to love him seek him with all our heart soul and mind it is not a request from god it is a command it is commandment and if you do not love god with your heart with your soul with your mind and strength he is going to rob your peace he's going to take away the sense of purpose he's going to take away the happiness and he did that because he is a zealous God and he demands our heart, our soul and our strength and everything that we have, our being. And only then we will have a sense of purpose of living in this world. Let's seek God's kingdom first and all these things that we ever need that will be added unto us. Amen. And have a very, very good Sunday ahead. Thank you. And if you find this content useful, give a like, share and subscribe. That means a lot. Thank you guys. God bless.